Hey Meta Traders. So in this video, I'm gonna show you another M24 tutorial, and we will kind of go through the steps of how to download MetaTrader on your computer and open a Forex demo account without a broker. Yes, you heard me right. So we will open a Forex demo account. It's like for practice trading. And we're going to do that without a broker. So you, you know, you don't have to spend uh, days, weeks or months or, you know, whatever, just trying to figure out what broker to choose. And, you know, oh, this broker is bad and that one is maybe good. And but I don't know anything about it and so on. So <laughs> there are lots of Forex brokers out there. It's like hundreds and hundreds of them. And, you know, new Forex brokers just coming in every day and there are lots of scams and lots of everything in there. So not so many brokers out there are really, truly legit, but I'm not going to take that responsibility for kind of, you know, go on and test all the brokers with hundreds and thousands of dollars trading with them and just try and withdraw them, you know, the profits. And so I can just tell you that, you know, whether it's good or bad, because I'm not in a position to do that, so as everyone everyone else, you know, it's like I might have a good experience with one broker, but others might have a bad experience with that, the same broker. That's why you usually see, you know, mixed reviews about Forex brokers online. You know, there might be some people got some trouble with them and while well, others have no trouble at all and they just keep trading and withdrawing the money and so on so there are lots of you know brokers and you have to do your own research your own due diligence and you know speak with with your brokerage call them on the phone uh, go to their office. If you can't reach their office, probably it's not the best broker for you. <laughs> so, so basically what I'm trying to say is that I don't want that the problem of choosing a Forex broker stops you from having a Forex trading account for practicing. So Forex broke, you know, choosing a Forex broker is a lot of work. And, you know, you might just go with one and, just, oh, I'll just stick with him, you know, with this broker and whatever. But if you really want to choose the best broker there is and you, you know, want to avoid all the pitfalls your friends had with them and so on. And, you you know, you might be spending like weeks reading reviews online or whatever you got to do. But during that time, you don't have to have a broker to start trading Forex. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can open a Forex broker account for demo practice, you know, for practice trading. It's not a real account. It's just for practicing, but you can start learning on, you know, with that account, how the Forex works, you know, how pairs move, how open trades and so on. All these things, you know, they're like, billions of things you got to learn in forex you know but not all of them are useful and so on but you know you just start with the with the ones that are the most useful just like a start in life you know you start you you learn how to walk you learn how to eat you you know by yourself you learn <laughs> all these things that you know um sounds just normal things we you know but every day you you know the things that keeps you going in life so it's it's like the same in any any area you know it's the same with forex you don't have to learn every kind of button in your car to operate your car you know to drive it to, to go to you know to drive to work it's it's not what you need you know you need just a few main things to know about how to drive a car all the other hundreds of buttons you have and your dashboard in your car is just for for your comfort and for you know for additional gadgets or whatever you know so the same in forex the same in metatrader this you know the same in uh in every kind of area of life so you have to learn all the the main things basically
So okay, so enough um, chit chatting here, and uh, um, I would just like to know that we will be using MetaTrader uh, four. It's not a MetaTrader five. I know MetaTrader five is coming, and uh, it's you know it'll probably replace MetaTrader four in the next few years, and we already see more and more brokers implement MetaTrader five. But as long as you know, I don't see. Um, huge interest in MetaTrader 5 from majority of retail traders. Um, I don't think MetaTrader 4 would just disappear and be replaced by MetaTrader 5 just like that, you know, just one day woke up and there's no MetaTrader 4. I don't think that will happen. Obviously, I can't tell the future, but that's my point of view because, you know, there are so many uh, apps and traders using MetaTrader 4. And there are more brokers using MetaTrader 4 than MetaTrader 5. So I think MetaTrader 4 is here to stay for quite a while, yeah. So another thing to mention is that MetaTrader 4 is not a broker. Um, there, you know, it's a company, MetaQuotes software company providing you the MetaTrader 4. It's a trading platform, and I would say it's one of the best ones for, you know, for retail traders. Um, and they're not a broker themselves, but they can provide you a practice like a demo trading account. So it will have slightly, you know, maybe differences in prices and spreads and slippages you know but that's the case with every other broker and every other trading account out there so if there is like a, you know if you take like 10 forex brokers and compare their live accounts with demo accounts and even you know there are usually like few types of live accounts like like ecn account uh, dealing desk account and you know professional account whatever they have so every you know every these types of all, all trading accounts will have differences so there is no big deal that you have like a one pip spread difference you know like higher or lower on some <laughs> account it's not about that don't freak out and don't put yourself in the position that you oh my god you know like a two pip spread and this uh, training account has one pip spread yeah maybe today or maybe for this, these five minutes but in the next five minutes it might be a, you know totally different and an opposite uh, so don't freak out about all these days. You're just practicing. You're just starting trading Forex. It's not a disaster to have a bit different price fees or whatever that is, you know. So just keep in mind that it's all about practicing. And this video, for those who are just starting Forex or just want to have lots of trading accounts like multiple accounts on your computer for whatever systems or trading EAs you are maybe testing so it's a good way uh, to have lots of forex accounts for demo practicing okay so uh, let me check what we have here next so yeah so in this MetaTrader tutorial um, I will show you how to download MetaTrader platform from FX open that's the broker uh, it, just <laughs> just stay with me for a while. Um, yeah, I, I did mention that we will be opening account without a broker, but we will download MetaTrader 4 from a broker website. Now, we will use FX Open for that um, because they give direct MetaTrader download link without website registration required. Yes, so most Forex brokers, they ask for your, you know, mobile phone, your first name, your last name, your email, like, and whatever other information they ask about, you know, your, your address, and uh, <laughs> so that's not the information you need to provide just for practicing Forex trading, so... <laughs> So we will gonna skip the step, and you know, for for most of us, it's real annoying when we just want to get that demo account. Just man, I'm just playing around. 
stop asking for my mobile phone and then sending me SMS messages and calling me every other day, you know, for with your uh, with your promotion. So we don't want to get in this kind of thing. So we don't see your, uh, you know, we don't want to see broker ads or whatever. We just want a demo account for practicing for starts. You know, we can always open live account later, and while we're practicing, we will start to learn what's good and what's wrong in forex, and you know you will kind of start to sift through uh, what you need and what you don't need. And, you know, in a few months time, I'm sure you will already know what broker to choose, you know, for live trading, I mean. So so for now, we just we just get MetaTrader from FX Open because they don't ask for registration to download the MetaTrader. All other brokers ask for registration. There are just a handful of brokers who don't ask for registration and FX Open happens to be one of them. That's why I use myself for downloading MetaTrader and that's why we will uh, you know, use this in this video as well. Uh, next, uh, I will... Sh I will show how to open demo account without a broker, even we've downloaded the MetaTrader from FX Open, just like I was saying. And then I will show why didn't I download the MetaTrader from their official website. So there's a um, there's an annoying kind of trick on their website, and there's a reason why I don't download MetaTrader 4 from their official website, and they download from broker, so I will show that. And for the last part, I will show you how to open a demo training account with the FX Open broker. Now, please don't get me wrong, I'm not endorsing FX Open, I I do not recommend FX Open, or, you know, I don't, I'm not associated with them. I, I'm not an affiliate or anything like that. So it's just, I will be just showing how to, you know, I should name this uh, point, uh, the last point, it just how to open demo account with the broker you've downloaded MetaTrader from. So, so in, in, in our case, I've downloaded, Meta, you know, I will download from FX Open. So I will show how to open, you know, account with FX Open as well. So in case you need that later for, with the broker you will be using. So it's not necessarily FX Open. So keep that in mind. Uh, you know, I'm not endorsing FX Open or anything like that. So it's just for demonstration purposes. Okay. So, so let's begin. Uh, let's switch to my browser. Yeah. Okay. So I, I'm on FXOpen.com. So the first thing we go uh, trading and in the platform section I click on MetaTrader 4. Now I scroll down a bit and they too have uh, I think two yeah two options like micro and STP accounts and I'll, I'll always choose this MetaTrader for ECN. So I'm not go you know going to explain the differences there. Uh, if you want differences between ECN, STP, and micro, whatever account types, you know, it's, uh, I don't want to spend like half an hour explaining that. So just, you know, go and Google and search for these things. Uh, but I'll just go with the ECN and I click that button. And we can see it just downloads the file, you know, FX4 setup ECN.exe. So that's the installation file to install MetaTrader. So we're going to use that. You can see they have like open account demo, you know, and real and demo accounts, but we're not, you know, we don't need that. We just need the MetaTrader. So basically as long, uh, you know, after you get the MetaTrader, uh, we don't need their website anymore. So I'm going to start the, the installation now. Here we go. I'm gonna minimize the window. Yeah. So um, before we click next, there's this button called settings. So in case you need to install the MetaTrader in some other um, location than the default one they're offering, uh, you click the settings and you know 
browse for another folder or whatever. But I, I always like to go through the settings because I always uncheck this box so that I don't get their website open after the installation. Uh, so go next. Um, the installation started. It usually takes like a minute or so. Depends on your internet connection speed and you know the, uh, um, how fast your computer is to deal with these kind of installations. So we see it like it's it's done. Uh, these pictures just keep coming, you know, and, and changing. But I can see that the finish button appeared. So this means the installation, you know, uh, is finished. So I click the finish button and just give it a few seconds because it's already loading the MetaTrader platform. Yeah, it depends on the computer speed you, you have. So it might take a while. Um, usually the one who has like like 50 tabs open in my Chrome browser. <laughs> so my computer is usually slow <laughs> with these kind of installations. Um, yeah, but we can see my mouse cursor shows. Yeah, it's thinking about... Yeah, it's loading. It's loading and... Uh, Oh, it started it in full screen, so you don't see the full MetaTrader window now. But yeah, that's not a problem. So here we go. That's the main part now. Um, I would just want to click cancel and make this window smaller. Just give me a second. Here we go. That's our MetaTrader. That's how it looks like. Yeah, so when it first loads, um, in the lower right corner, you can see, you know, there's no connection. So we don't have an account yet. Account section is empty as well. That's why it showed me open an account at first. Um, and it's, you know, and it usually looks like that. So um, I... I closed the open account window because I wanted to rearrange this so you can see the full MetaTrader platform. So now I go file and I will go open an account. Yeah, so so here, that's the view you're going to see when you will be doing the installation uh, yourself. So uh, now here's the, here's the important part of how to open an account without a broker. So when we go to open an account, we see there are two servers we can choose from. One says demo server and another one says live server. So obviously both are from FX Open. So because we've downloaded you know, from, from the FX Open broker, obviously they show their own service and you know there's no service of other brokers or whatever, but um, what MetaTrader 4 allows us is to search for other servers. And you can see it says this one, add new broker. You can see that, yeah. So I click on this one. And now I'm allowed to, to kind of um, enter broker server I'm, uh, you know want to use. So I can type in like Olanda or FXCM and, and usually they just show their service and you can uh, try to open an account with them. But in this video we don't want the broker for, <laughs> for our practice trading account. We just want demo account that's not tied to any broker. So we will type this meta quotes dash demo it's really important to type it exactly as it as it appears so i believe it's also case sensitive so all the you know lower and upper letters are important so type it meta quotes dash demo i click uh, press enter to start the search and we can see they've added a new server which is named after what I just typed in. But we can see it's, you know, the company name appears, Medical Software Corporation, and we see the ping. So it means they actually found a server with this, you know, by that name. Um, they show a ping, you know, in milliseconds. That's 
uh, that's how much time it takes for my computer to reach their computer you know their servers so every you know it's it's not for this video about the speed and latency but everything below 100 milliseconds you know we consider it's quite fast uh, so i obviously choose that broker demo account it's not a broker actually yes so i click next i make sure that new demo account is selected i click next again and now i have to put in um my personal details but because it's just for practicing and uh, you know they won't be checking our documents or any kind you know sort of verification will not be done here so i don't want to tell you that you can just enter any type of information here <laughs> but if we do that they kind of allow you to go through so i'm not saying anything so make sure that i agree to subscribe to your newsletters is enabled only then next button appears um, clickable also you can choose the deposit size so you know whatever you want man just hundred thousand fifty way you know whatever um account type forex bit those are usually from you know what fx open suggests so make sure that forex is selected because if anything else selected metaquotes might not understand what you know what type of account that is and um, you can also choose the leverage so one to hundred i would recommend that or lower just my recommendation um, we click next and here we go we have an account so yeah quite fast yeah it like took you know milliseconds to open an account usually they they think for one or two seconds or so in case you don't get an account open so you will not see anything there you know like login and password will be empty and you see that finish button is already there yeah. <laughs> so it means they didn't open an account for i don't know whatever reason check your internet connection and yeah, yeah but um you just go back and you know click next again or maybe try to change some details in the form i you know but usually it's like i don't know nine or ten times i always get an account like that so that's not a problem now my suggestion is to write down this information that you see on the screen so either write down this on paper or make a screenshot and save it on your computer you know whatever you do but you know just try not to lose the same for even if it's just practice account you know so what will happen after three months if you see your demo practice account is just growing you know and you keep doing quite a good job and then one day you just oh my god i lost my login and details and i can't log in anymore and i have to start fresh and now i cannot show anyone that i've had quite a good uh, trading history my account so so even just starting and even if this doesn't seem serious for you just you know just please write these down i've made this mistake a few times before and i already lost quite a few good looking demo accounts you know back in the days when i was just starting trading demo so write these down so you click finish and um, the no connection should change yeah we can see Incoming mail. we've got mail so these annoying sounds can be turned off and we'll get to that in a minute but um, first i would like to show you if you did not save those login details in the previous window you still have a chance in the mailbox tab right over there there's a is it an email says new account registration and if i view it it shows the same login and password so they will be there 
um, until your windows will get some major update and you know they might disappear so <laughs> it happens sometimes that you try to open metatrader and it doesn't remember your password anymore usually happens after windows updates happened to me sometimes you know like one or twice a year and uh, happens to basically everyone who uses windows and even though it's annoying but yeah you just have to keep living with that and uh, just write them down and you know you will be prepared for the Armageddon of Windows updates okay so let's go to the tools now and the options we will make some basic configurations what I like to do is go to expert advisors and allow automated trading allow DLL imports as well so it's not for everyone so if you don't know about automatic trading, um, don't know about DLL libraries and uh, anything like that, just leave it, you know, just leave it like that. And, you, you know, you never need this, but uh, always show this because I'm I'm not sure who's watching the video. You know, maybe that's the first time you see the MetaTrade or maybe you just want who just want to learn more tricks about how I'm doing, you know, how I'm using MetaTrader. So um, I always enable auto trading on all of my accounts uh, because I always use all types of tools like expert advisors, indicators, and, you know, lots of them are created by myself and they require their little uh, libraries and, you know, so always just enable that to not waste uh, my time later when I try to launch something some trading tool and you know it doesn't work so i always enable that but if you don't know what it means just skip it and then i love to go to the events tab and just disable all these audio uh, audio alerts you know okay uh that's it so yeah let's see what's next Okay, so next we have um, why didn't I download MetaTrader from official website? Okay, let me explain that. So I go to my web browser. So this is the official MetaTrader4.com website. So that's where they offer MetaTrader 5, uh, 4, sorry. Yeah, we can see, the, you know, the logo MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 4, and metatrader4.com kind of says already that it's about metatrader4 but yet they do have metatrader5 selected there and this button is already pre-selected so you download metatrader5 even though the whole website is about metatrader4 but metatrader5 is right there the download button but we can switch to metatrader4 right there yeah, MetaTrader 5, MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5, MetaTrader 4. If I download MetaTrader 4, it takes me to this download page of MetaTrader 4. Now stay with me, guys. <laughs> it's going to be great. So it says download MetaTrader 4, but this button says download MetaTrader 5. So that's confusing a bit. Okay, so we don't want MetaTrader 4, so we keep scrolling down, and here's a MetaTrader 4 button. It says download MetaTrader 4 for PC and create a demo account. That's, you know, that's what we need, you know, MetaTrader 4 demo account. So I click that, it downloads, and it says MT4 setup, which kind of indicates that it's truly MetaTrader 4, yeah, it's MT4. So let's launch that. Here we go. Now notice that it doesn't say that it's MetaTrader 4 now. It just says MetaTrader client terminal. And it says 64 bit. MetaTrader 4 is not 64 bit application. So, <laughs> so this is MetaTrader 5, guys. So they're, they're try, trying to sneak you to having the MetaTrader 5 instead of MetaTrader 4 because they're so desperate and they don't know how to replace MetaTrader 5 with, you know, 
uh, four with five because nobody wants Metroid Dread 5. So they try kinds of all these tricks just forcing you into having the Metroid Dread 5. So if we go to, you know, settings, it doesn't say Metroid Dread 4 either. It's it's not 5 or 4, it's just Meta Trader. That's odd. Let's keep doing the installation and see what, what's pop, what pops up on our screen, you know, when we finish the installation. Okay, we can click finish. Whoa, that was fast. Much faster than Meta Trader 4. So obviously, Meta Trader 5 does have lots of better better you know features and and it's i believe it's faster and there are lots of other things that it's better there than meta trader 4 and you know you can find a blog on my uh, article on my blog and that's you know about the differences uh and that's meta trader 5 guys even though it says I'm downloading MetaTrader 4 and it was M24 setup, I'm downloading from MetaTrader4.com website and they go to help about and it says MetaTrader 5. <laughs> They're so sneaky. Uh, yeah, so don't get, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you should avoid MetaTrader 5. I'm just saying that you should... You know, do a research about that. Maybe you like it better. You know, maybe, maybe you want to start MetaTrader Five already. Um, I'm not forcing you into MetaTrader Four either or Five. You know, um, but you know, this video is about MetaTrader Four because currently it's the most popular one, and uh, I believe not many uh, traders want to switch to MetaTrader Five. I would say like I don't know, ninety something percent better just stick with Metro 5 4. People spend hundreds if not thousands of dollars for all kinds of trading tools and strategies and so on that work with Metro 4 over this last 10 years, you know. So, <laughs> and all these tools doesn't work on Metro 5. So people just rather stick with Metro 4. And they already know how it works and, you know, Metro 5 is a bit different. So you know, we're not going to stick with that. I just wanted to show you how MetaGuos uh, is, you know, trying to force you into MetaTrader 5. That's the future probably. So um, I'll probably be doing these tutorials for MetaTrader 5 in, in, in the coming year or so. I don't know. But uh, for now, we just stick with MetaTrader 4. Okay, so... The last point, how to open a demo trading account with FX Open. So again, I'm not endorsing FX Open. Um, I'm not an affiliate with them or anything like that. I believe I did have an affiliate link or something, but <laughs> I don't use it. Uh, I don't use it or, um, or I'm, I'm not recommending them. It's just for demonstration purposes. They give MetaTrade a download link directly without registration. That's why I choose chose them for this um, for this video but in case you will want to open an account with a broker which provided you MetaTrader in our case is FX Open you do this you go open an account choose their demo server live accounts open differently with applications and so on so so it's just for demo you choose demo server. In our case, it's FX Open demo server. I click next, click next, fill in the information, click next again, and voila, I have an account. Just simple like that. So there's my login, my password, and my investor password. If you want to learn about differences between these two passwords, I have a tutorial on my my website. Go check that. Um, basically you should save these as well as mentioned and I click finish I should receive another email right there about the new account yeah here we go so that's the account yeah it's from FX open investments you can see and the other one was from MetaCodes. yeah so that's how you know which 
broker or server to choose from when you log in because when you go file and you go log into trade account you can choose a broker server so we have metaquotes we have fx open so now you know that way you know where you're logging in so obviously automatically i got logged in into fx open account and and so on so so that's it for this video um it's quite longer than i that i intended it to be but hope you guys enjoy it hope you find it useful and if you want more tutorial tutorials like this either on you know as a guide or, or tutorials like written form on my website or like a pdf guys like we have those as well or you know in a video form like that just go to my website ea-coder.com and subscribe to my newsletter and you'll receive all kinds of uh, tutorials from me you can find that info on my website as well and whatever i create something new i'll send out that by email so guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you in another one bye